guys mommy b here welcome back to my channel welcome back to my kitchen where absolutely everything is made with love so today i am making a typical nigerian breakfast dish called akara it's made out of black eyed beans and we just need simple ingredients we don't want to overpower it with too many ingredients so i like it the simpler the better so all you need is salt oil onions and chili so we have to take the back of the beans off and the quick way of doing it is i just pour hot water in it put it in a blender and break it up so this is how it looks so you put it in a blender and just um, chop it up the blender will take the back off and then you wash it this process takes minimum 10 minutes doesn't even take long so you put water on on it and it's so easy as you, the back of the beans is already already come off because the blender has helped the process of breaking it and you do this process um some people reuse the water as uh, you can see there's not much back left again you add more water to it and that will take and then you will bring the back back up this is it just quick before you blend the beans so guys this is the beans i've already cleaned it so the back is not there anymore um i've chopped up the onions and chili i don't like blending them in it i like to um just blend the beans by itself because i don't want to change the color of the beans some people blend everything together as for me my preference is i don't blend it in so watch this space here we go i've blended the beans it's nice and smooth oh nice now i'm pouring the beans into a big bowl where i'm going to mix the onions and the chili together so now you just whisk so that the air will go on on the butter so what i normally do is i whisk for about 10 minutes and then before i add my the onion and chili So now I add a little bit of salt to taste. Now I add the onions and the chili. So my auntie that taught me how to make this dish, she would add chili and onions as she goes. Like as she's going to put a scoop of akara in the oil, she'll add it. But either way works. So and you keep... Um, whisking you have to like really whisk for about 10 15 minutes to put the air in it um, and then you start frying now that the oil is nice and hot you take a scoop and put it in you don't want to feed them up too much so you just wait and then you can separate them I get a knife and I and I turn them around they are already looking nice so oh, i don't know how to do the video and and turn them around so if it's too crowded you will not be able to turn them turn them around when you need to so i like to fry them in batches small batches yeah there you go wait for it don't forget to reduce your heat so it goes golden brown slowly it doesn't get burnt on the outside and it's not cooked on the inside but here here we go akara ready don't mind me i'm always excited about food so you must always be missing before you put your scoop so to still create that air in it you must all the time mix before you put your scoop in the oil so for this one i'm going to be adding prawns in it I'm gonna be frying it with some prawns. Delicious! Nothing is wasted. You see all those times where you stand for a car joints. They, they go get all these small, small ones. Now that's on the sweet part. So I always clean out my my container and still fry little pieces of akara. Yay, mommy bee's kitchen. Hi right, guys, this is it with prawns, with tart prawns, and then you can have it with custard, with ogio, akamo. We call it eko. 
and then you can have it with bread there you go don't you see how beautiful it looks it looks beautiful and it smells nice too thank you all for following thank you all for watching mommy b's kitchen god bless you all <laughs>